What's up, it's Chris. Welcome back to another episode. And today we're gonna find a date for sushi. Sushi, you're gonna try three different Indian dishes cooked by three different single girls. And then you get to decide who you are gonna go on a date with just based on those dishes. Sound good? Fantastic. Awesome. My American friends call me sushi. I'm 26. I grew up in Mumbai, India, and I've been in New York for about eight years now. I love dating and food and dating. I can't wait. I would like to meet someone that's really goofy and ambitious and just is trying to get the most out of life. Hi, I'm Angela. Hey, it's Ferrari. Hi, I'm Haji. How are you feeling about today? Nervous. A little nervous, yeah. Just found out our guy is vegetarian, so now I don't know how I'm feeling. <laughs> kind of threw you under the bus right there. I, uh... Yeah, you know, but it's okay. I made alu gobi, so it's potato, cauliflower, tomatoes, and onion, and a lot of different spices like garam masala, haldi, and a lot of red peppers. It has all the hearty vegetables in it, but it's very spicy, so it's a kick. I think it describes me. It's simple, but it's also very extravagant. And oh, fire wow. away. Oh, wow. Delicious. Let's take a moment to observe this. Eat with your eyes. What I like about this dish is that it's honest. This is me, this is me. It's not trying to hide anything going on. I think that is really, really cool and important to me. I do worry though, it doesn't look like enough. I have more. I hope there's enough spice going on in here. Oh, he likes spicy food. Mm -hmm. Nods of approval, I like it. I gotta mix it up a bit, but it's not overbearing. And I like that. I like when people are not overbearing. I like the balance behind it. I feel like someone definitely put a lot of attention to detail and care. That's super important to me. Are there any red flags? Any red flags? Red flags, oh. Now that I have this kind of burning sensation in my throat, now that I've given it a minute, I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried that I might have misjudged this seemingly she was simple. hoping you were as spicy as she is. <laughs> I'm a spicy guy. Okay, let's let's not beat around the bush. I do kind of like firecracker type of people that are like, you know, oh, super sweet, nice, whatever. And then bam, whoa, they're like, they're wild. They go out crazy. Yes, I, I like I like that. That's literally exactly how I describe myself. I do get the sense that this person is confident. Here's the dish. You know what it is. We don't need to like mix about and like hide anything. Why is he reading you like a book right now? <laughs> how much do you want to go on a date with him? I would, I would be inclined to go on a date with this person. Um, I, I'm not, is something else gonna come around in 10 minutes? I don't know. So I don't, I'm not fully there, but I'm mostly there. It's keeping his options open. <laughs> I made some tandoori chicken. You just marinate it in some yogurt, lemon juice, some spice seasoning. Then you bake it in the oven and you add some coloring as well. And I just presented it with some garnishing on top. So it's very colorful. It looks very fun. I feel like that's me. I hope he likes the look of it <laughs> since he can't eat it. He'll appreciate how uh, recognizably tandoori it is, right? Yes. That is, a, that is a hefty meal. Funny story. Over about the last year, I became vegetarian. So I haven't had chicken in a very, very long time. This is a gorgeous meal. If you are what you eat, then the person that made this is a 10 out of 10. Aww. Aww. I, I feel like they're very good at aesthetic things. So I feel like they, they probably have an apartment somewhere in a quiet part of Brooklyn, really minimalist. I wish. Rugs everywhere. Just she showed up with a Louis bag. They showed up with a Louis bag. I sure did. So they, they have that apartment just on the Upper West Side. Oh no, one day. Sushant. I forgot to check that you were vegetarian. And I forgot to tell them. So don't hold it against them. Yeah, yeah. She didn't know. But also, she didn't really ask. Uh, so. Chris, now you lying on me. <laughs> I know you did not just lie. So this person didn't ask if I was vegetarian, which is um, terrible to assume. As a former non-vegetarian, I would never assume. That. However, for this person's sake, I'll take the tiniest bite. He's nice for that. Yeah, you're bold. Moment of truth. He's about to be like, all right, I'm going back to meat. It's so chewy. He took the smallest bite. He's been chewing she said for it's like chewing. 20 minutes. It's like, I don't miss it at all. It looks pretty, but it seems so satisfied. I don't get the sense of adventure from this. I do like the safety and comfort that I feel here. I get the sense this person's a homebody. You Boy, is he wrong. Out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'd be out every week. So I made some mosas. I mashed a couple potatoes, fried them with a bunch of spices, and then I stuffed them into the dough that I made, and then I fried it all together, and then added a bunch of spices with the potatoes, so I think it balances it out. I like simple cooking. That's just how I am. It's nice to be mysterious a little bit, keep it simple. It's a tease. It's a tease, yeah. This is awesome, because it's not an easy dish to make. To be able to get that like fold and everything, impossible. Whoever did this put a lot of effort, and I really appreciate that. I can't wait to dig in. 
Oh, he loves Dig it. Mm. Watch the roast come in later, though. That's good. I have not had a good samosa in a long time. Whoever did this really likes to have a good time, really likes to enjoy life, and doesn't take it too seriously. I think that's me. I really like that. I really like what's going on. I'm not so sure about this thing. I saw that coming. I don't know if this belongs here, but we're gonna give it a shot and see. He doesn't like spicy, don't... Nope, um... It's, it's so, I, I don't know what this is. You can't handle the heat, you gotta get out the kitchen. So she actually came in without a sauce and then she saw how nice the other dishes looked and was like, okay, I need a sauce. And she was actually asking me if there was any ketchup here and I couldn't find any, so she just grabbed that. Oh, that's such a bummer, cause like, less is more. That's kind of my fault, I told you to do that. <laughs> I get the sense that you might've been worried and I wish you weren't worried, cause this was great. I've been an insecure person in my past relationships. I don't want to be that person. I'm not gonna fault you for bringing the sauce out. I guess I'm insecure. <laughs> First impression tells me that um, you saw the competition and were a little worried and uh, not a good sign, not a good sign. But great, you're fun. I'd love to I'd love to hang out. I feel like we would really chill and get along. I wish you just didn't worry. I know, right? It's like, sorry. <laughs> All right, Sushi, who are you going on a date with? So, when it comes to the chicken, I love the way your apartment looks. I think you're a great interior designer. Aesthetics on point, but we fundamentally disconnect. The samosas, I love what you bring, but I wish you didn't worry too much. With the gobi alu and the rice, slightly innocent and sweet, and then bam, uh, kind of hits you with it, you know, is all in all a good time. Absolutely, winner winner, not chicken dinner, I guess. Oh, firecracker. Yeah. You're the one, let's fall in love. You wanna meet them? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. It's nice Hi. meeting you. I'm Haji. Haji. Ferrari. Ferrari. I'm Angela. Angela, nice, nice to meet to you meet all. You. Thank you for preparing so much delicious food. I I'm really surprised you picked that over that one. I knew you couldn't pick this yeah. one. I know uh -huh. you eliminated it. Was, it, was a, it wasn't like a personal thing, as I'm sure you know. Yeah, you yeah. let him have it because he had a lot to right, say I'm about you. Right. Did I? <laughs> oh, you, you've heard what I've said. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's not <laughs> all right, so now you guys are going to go off on a little mini date. You're gonna talk for a bit, and then afterwards we'll check in and see if you guys wanna go on another date after that. Don't. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> right. How are you guys? Are you going on another date? Is this a thing? Are you getting married? Uh, what, what's the deal? I think it was a fun date. Like I said, firecracker. We got, we got along very well, just like, you know, the banter was dope, so I'm very happy that we went on a date. We are getting married. Yes. Oh, that big rock. Yes, here yes. we go. Oh my God, we did it. Best date ever. You guys are all invited. I know you guys yeah, lost. Am I being Same. Same. Yes. You can be there, but uh, you can't prepare the food. <laughs> <laughs>